Okay, good evening, everybody, and welcome to Tuesday Dream Nights. Um, this is an opportunity where we can all come together. We have multiple groups um, here on this Zoom, but it's definitely an opportunity. Okay, well, while Teresa's frozen, I'll just take over until we hear her again. So tonight's training is going to be on the Amy system. We have a couple different people on tonight. I know um, Emily's here. We got Debbie Fitzpalmer here. So there's a lot of people that have the Amy system, but for some reason, they're not using it. Um, and especially if you're using the paid version, I don't know why you're not using it. So I'm watching my chats here. Okay, I'm sorry. My um my... There we go. There's Teresa. Yes, I was on mute. So so sorry about that. I was like, what in the world happened? Okay. So um I wanted to welcome you all. So sorry about that. Uh to Tuesday night dream um dreamstruck. And so our goal on Tuesday nights is for all of our groups to get together um, and we can offer an opportunity um where we can um you know, um, offer some learnings and some trainings that you, some of it might be new to you, some of it might be refreshers, um, but our goal is to give as much information to help you be as successful as you possibly can with your businesses. Um, my name is Teresa Gosh, and I'm Superstar Director of Group Purple Explosion. And as Kelly Rochelle was just mentioning, we have multiple um, superstar directors that are on with uh, all of our groups. And um, let me see here. Um, I know we have Carol Bishop Hauk, uh, we have Debbie Pitts Palmer, we have Amber Turner, Emily Goodneck, uh, Dorothy Sanchez, and I hope I'm not missing someone, but I feel like I'm missing one person. Who am I missing, Kelly? <laughs> Did I say everyone? And myself. So tonight, we're, we actually have a guest speaker, and um, I want to introduce her. Uh, her name is, so sorry, I need to make sure that I have. I'm sorry. Okay. Um, I want to make sure my phone was off, but we have Mandy. She's a recently promoted superstar director, and I'm so thankful that she offered to join us this evening. Um, I remember seeing her at, um, well, actually, I met her at Director Boot Camp in Idaho. Um, first and foremost, she's my boot camp sister. Um, secondly, she actually did an Amy training and um, um, at, at Dallas World Tour. Okay, and she did phenomenally. And what I loved about her is that she was very passionate about uh, the app application. Um, and that's going into the title of today's training session. Um, are you friends with Amy? Um, so, or how well do you know Amy? What's the title for today? It is, um, are you friends with Amy? I had it correctly. Okay, so we're gonna spend the first 20 minutes just talking about the Amy application. Um, Amy is absolutely, phenomenal. It's fairly new to Sensi. It hasn't been around for multiple years. And as, it, um, you know, the time goes on, it has, the app has been evolving, um, which I think is awesome. So they're listening to our feedback and um, without going into too much more detail, I'm going to hand it, toss this over to Mandy um, because she's truly the guru. So we're going to talk about Amy and then the second half, we're going to talk about some other follow-up systems that could help you increase your PRV and your sponsorship and more. So Mandy, thanks for joining us tonight. Hey, you're welcome. Thank you for inviting me. You know how much I love Amy and I promise I'm going to try and call it Amy because in my heart, I still call it Maven all the time because that's what it was when it first started. So it's a struggle bus. Um, but my name is Mandy Bowling. I am Superstar Director in Louisiana. And again, I met Teresa at boot camp. Absolutely love her. She's precious. So again, thanks for inviting me. Now, I do love Amy. And uh, you know what, guys, let me just preface. If you hear banging on my bedroom door, that's my child, my five-year-old. So just bear with me, okay? If you hear any extra calamity, it's her. Um, had to lock myself away. But anyways, so Amy, if you guys have not downloaded Amy, or tell me what, if you guys have downloaded Amy, 
and you don't use it or you've never used it before, those of you who I can see on video, can you raise your hand? If you've never used it. Okay, awesome. So here's the thing. If you are looking to increase your PRB, if you wanna build more volume, Amy is great for that, but not only for your PRV, they also have invoicing there. Um, something new that they've recently rolled out to us that I personally am in love with because let me like let me say, how many times have you had a customer say, oh, I want a, I want a Cincy bar. We'll just say a simple Cincy bar. And then you say, okay, perfect. You know, and they're not local to you or whatever it is. And you tell them a total, you're like, do you want to pay with a card, do you want to pay with the uh, Venmo, Apple Pay, all these different things, right? You can actually link your Venmo, your PayPal, a Square account if you have that, so people can pay with a debit or credit card. Um, you can link all those things into Amy and actually choose which products they bought, add on all of the stuff to them and send them the invoice. And instead of having to go through all that stuff, they can actually just choose what they want to do to pay you with. Super, super simple, and I love it. But I absolutely love Amy because of how, um, just how easy it is to be consistent with staying up to date with your customers. I can personally say that before Amy, I had never found a really great way to stay connected. I always wanted to be a good consultant and I felt like I was an okay consultant, but I knew that I sucked in customer follow-up because you always hear the fortunates in the follow-up with return customers and how there's statistics around how many times people who buy from us only buy from us once. And it's because we're not following back up with them to see how they liked it, if they need anything else whenever it's been a couple weeks or you know a couple months. It is up to us to give that customer service so that we can get um, relationships built with these people so that they keep coming back to us. And that about it and urge you that if you haven't downloaded it, I want you to like stop, take a second and go and download the Amy app. It's super cute. It has a little pineapple. I know you can't see it probably on my, oh yeah, you can. There it is, a little pineapple on the front. It's super cute. Um, but every day, if you download and you use the Amy Pro version, it will actually sync up with your workstation to tell you anytime you've had a customer place an order on your PWS, it will say, hey, you need to thank so-and-so for placing an order with you. So whenever you have somebody who's placed an order with you, like for instance, I have some new ones from today and I strategically left them here. Um, it's going to blow it out, but it's there. Um, it says, you know, Kim placed an order with you, send her a thank you note. So that's the first step to me is thanking a customer for their order, whether you are going to call them, whether you text them, whether you send them happy mail, however you decide to do it, make sure you're following up. Personally, I love to text with my customers the first time because I, it gets them the information to know who I am. Hey, this is Mandy. Um, thank you for your Cincy order. That way I'm not calling people. Some people don't answer a number that they don't know. So that's my reason behind texting for the first communication with them. Um, after we built a little bit, then I will do happy mail or I will do, or sorry, snail mail, like sending through the postal service, or I will actually call them once I know that they have my number. But Whenever you go to message them the first time, you actually on the pro version have an option to build in a template. And my template, guys, let me tell you, I'm in love with the templates that they have, but I want to say that you want to make them sound like you. You don't want to sound robotic. Thank you so much for your order of this, 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 and this. I hope you love it. You know, you want to make it sound like it's coming from an actual person and not a robot. Okay. So found was the best way for me to do that and actually sound, you know, like myself was to act like I was talking to that person face to face. Okay. So if I was meeting this person for the first time and they just ordered for me, for instance, my follow-up or my, for my thank you template is, hi, so-and-so, 
This is Mandy Bowling, the Cincy Superstar Director, introducing myself, right? I just wanted to say thank you for your Cincy order. My family and I appreciate you choosing to support us. Simple. That's it. That's all I do for the first one. I'm not going to go into what they bought for me, anything else I know that they bought for me, right? This is their telephone number associated with their order. So I keep it simple, short, and sweet. Thank you, my family, and I appreciate you. And that's it, okay? And then the next thing that's going to happen is that a week or so later, you're going to get another follow-up that says, or another reminder in your Amy, that's going to say, check in with so-and-so and see how they like their order. So you do that. And whenever you go in to check in with them and see how they like it, then let me see. I'm going to go and read you that actual template because I didn't have any of those today. Check in on a customer's order. Then I'll respond back and I say, hey, this or hi, so-and-so, this is Mandy. I hope you're loving all your new Cincy products so far. If you have any questions about your recent order or if I can help you in the future, please let me know. Simple. Just checking in, seeing if they like it, okay? And then I thank them again. And then after that, I will just reach out every... Um, Every couple months, it, res it reminds you that it's been a little bit. So, for instance, my people who haven't responded in a little while or haven't bought for me recently to follow up with, those people are popping up in my re-engage with this person. It's been a while since they ordered. I am actually sending them out things that are relevant to what's going on right now with Scentsy. This one is my free for all. Let me tell you kind of what's going on because I'm not thanking them for an order or following up. This is after it's been a minute. So I'll say, hey, so-and-so, um, this is Mandy, your, you know, Cincy Superstar Director. I do re-announce myself because it's been a couple months. If they got a new phone, if something happens, I want to reiterate who I am, okay? And then I say, you know, happy Monday. I hope this message finds you well after the holidays because this is some of the first times that I'm texting these people. And what's great is texting. I can go back and see what I've written them prior so then I'm not keeping it the same for them. I can change it up as I need to, to make sure that it sounds very um, realistic, very, um, right? I'm building a relationship with them. I want it to sound authentic and keep the conversation flowing, I guess you should say. But I'm just saying, checking in to see if I can help you with anything. Bulbs, wax, laundry, cleaning products to help you start the new year off right. Since he's having a salon wax here in January, so it's buy five, get one free for only $27. We also just released a list of holiday items, you know, retiring after January 31st. Let me know if I can help you stock up before they're gone. And then I send them the list of the discontinuing um, fragrances. That is my follow-up message right now. It is a little bit more lengthy than normal, but that's why. Because I'm just kind of giving them an update, telling them the most recent thing that's going on. In the next couple of weeks, I'll be reaching out and asking those people if they're ready for a new spring summer catalog, if they'd like one of those. Um, and one of the things that I wanted to tell you guys that whenever I do that, you got to think, well, man, if I do that for everybody who is in there, maybe you have a big, long customer list. One of the things that I love about Amy is that if you're wondering who to send catalogs to, especially during this time. I love Amy for that too. It's not just for following up. It's for you to kind of keep track of your business and see who your biggest supporters are. What I like to do is I go to my contacts. It's down in the bottom on, oh, y'all, it's real bad blowing it out. It's down on the bottom of your dashboard. Right next to dashboard, it says contacts. Whenever you click on contacts, there's a sort by button up at the top. If you hit that drop down, you can sort by all types of things. But one of the my most favorite things to sort by during this time of the year is I sort by the most lifetime order value. Okay, so I'll sort by that most lifetime order value because this is going to show me, it's going to pop up the people who have ordered the absolute most for me. I'm like, at least I'm going to start looking through those names and they're going to be very current to me. I'm going to know who these people are, right? Those are your best customers. They deserve a catalog. Make sure you were following up with them and sending them a new catalog and getting them excited and ready for the new season coming out. Another thing I like to do is it might not be the most lifetime order value, but I love to do the most number of orders because I have some people who
order with me. So I want to treat them like they're valued just as much, right? So I look through here and see if there's anybody else that I didn't catch on my original lifetime value and add them back in. Um, now, I love this for the fact, again, you are just kind of catching up with them, sending out the stuff. But what I wanted to show you is what I mail um, along with this. If you wanted to do a snail mail, super quick. This is a follow up for me, but I love to mail. I'm super cheap. So I wanted just to show you guys real quick what I'm doing right now. I got these envelopes from Amazon, super, they're green. So I thought they were cute, right? I don't want just a white envelope. So then I got the showcase brochures. I love them because you can try fold them. Okay. I stick this in my envelope. And then this is something new that I just did. And I will share a template of it with Teresa so that she can like cascade this down to you guys after. But this is basically going to be my new business card. Um, but you can see on here, I'm thanking them for their order for being a customer of mine. And then I'm linking them. I want to get up to the minute. Since he deals, use this QR code to join my VIP group. So they scan it with their phone and are instantly connected to my VIP group. Okay. Down here, same thing. Want to shop the new Cincy? Go to my website. Okay. And then it's got my information down here. On the back, it's ever considered Cincy Life. It's got me and it's saying, read my Cincy story, QR code for that to link them right to my PWS story. Make sure that you update that. People do look at it and it is important to your journey with Cincy. People love reading that. I've actually gotten people joined from that. And then down here, right, I included a super fun picture from SFR and join me here. And it links them to join to the QR page to my um, website. Websites are important. I mean, that's where um, a lot of these people are ordering from. If you have Amy, you're going to get a lot of follow-up from your PWS orders. But at any rate, I have this template. I made it. It's a rack card is what it's called. I made it on Canva. And I will send out the template so that you can go in. I think it was um, QR Monkey or something like that. I'll have to remember exactly QR. QR something. I'll find out the name of the website that I used to create the QR links. Got it from a friend, right? Sharing is caring. And then uh, you guys can use this and kind of create your own. Just change it out to be relevant to you. I ordered them after I got the template from Canva. I printed it out on Vistaprint because they always run 50% off. I got like a thousand of these for like 40 bucks. Out to customers as a thank you in an envelope. You can mail it with one stamp. So that is why I do the showcase brochure and the card here. Stick it in there. You could even stick a scent circle or a small little sample in there as long as it's not too bulky and it closes up. Mail it with a single stamp to your customers. It's very efficient to mailing out new catalogs to multiple people without having to, you know, break the bank. That's me. I like to be cheap. Anyway, back to the, um, to Amy. I just wanted to make sure that you guys knew that you can get, if you've never used it before, those of you who are brand new, now it doesn't matter if you have a brand new customer base, you're just starting out. Those few people um, that you have, you need to start building relationships with them from day one. Let's see here. I see a question. It says, what do you say to people when the last contact was three plus years ago? Y'all, I still contact them. I just respond. I do the very same thing. You know what's funny? I've been using Amy since it came out. And one of the things that I'll tell you is that I found that I will never quit messaging somebody until they literally tell me to quit. Whenever they pop up, I'm going to message them, regardless of how long ago it was. You never know, right? It's just a simple, if I see it was a long time ago, again, that message is going to be simple. Hey, this is Mandy, this uh, Cincy Superstar Director. I hope you're doing okay. Hope this message finds you well. Um, just wanted to check in and see how your Cincy products were going. If you need anything, let me know how I can help. Super simple. Um, you know, yes, I love that idea. I see somebody say that you could offer them 10% off the next order and just, you know, respond. That's a brilliant idea. Again, Make it relatable to that person. See if you'd ever messaged with them before. I found that um, whenever I keep messaging people, sometimes the people that I text, 
I'll have people and it might be 10 text messages prior that I've sent them and they haven't responded. But for some reason, they might respond this time. You never know. There, it's no rhyme or reason. Sometimes I'm shocked by the responses that I get one time that I didn't get the previous time. Nothing very different. It's just the consistency. And that's what your entire business is, is it staying consistent with following up with your customers. Because if you aren't following up with them and you aren't putting Cincy on the forefront of their brain, that you are a consultant and you are there to help them, somebody else is going to help them whenever they find that brochure in the office because they've been looking for somebody and they didn't have your number stored or they lost your contact information because their phone crashed and they had to get a new one. There's so many different things, but you are in charge of your business and making sure that you're putting it out there daily. So you always make sure that you are following back up with them, regardless of if you are feeling just funky about it, right? Because it's been a little bit, push through those fears and those feelings and do it. You never know what you might come up with. Um, how do you filter through the customers who belong to your downline? You know what, Mandy, that's a really great question. I'm still working through that one as well. And I've actually filtered that up to, um, to my, the people in Amy, because whenever you have orders that transfer that you've given over, those don't go out of your order list. So they're still filtering into Amy. I just try and delete them, right? Because the next day after I place it, I know that I flipped it. So one thing you could do um, and this is an idea, I, I don't know why I haven't thought about this, but I guess what you could do is go in and if you save their number in your phone, you don't have to text them, but if you save their number in your phone, you could write such and such party flip in the last name field so you knew the next time it popped up that it was theirs and just delete it instead of reaching out to them. But you need to ensure that if you label it that, that you were making sure that your new consultant is actually following through and following up with them and start teaching your new person the same thing, right? As soon as you have somebody join, this is one of the things that I love teaching my new people about is Amy, because I want them to start from the very beginning at, at their journey to start learning that customer follow-up is so important. And there's a super easy way to do it here. Now, I know it's not everybody's cup of tea, Right. Other people have a binder method that works better for them. Or if you tried and it's just not the best for you, that's totally OK. I've just found that that's what works for me personally. Are there any questions that I missed, Teresa? Are we running on time? Is there anything else that you guys want me to cover? The um, remember message template, all that good stuff is in the pro and I love it. So we are doing great um, with time. I um, have a question. Can you talk a little bit about uh, the follow-up system with team members as opposed, yeah. I know that we've covered a lot of ground with customers, but that was a new integration with Amy um, that Absolutely. so many of us were excited about. Yes, look, I love that aspect too. I'm so glad you said that. My mind is on customers because I've been building these things all day long today. Today was my customer focus day. So my mind is like in it. Um, I love the team reaching out every month. You can set it to whether you want the team aspect to show you their birthdays, their anniversaries, um, to reach out to them on the first of the month, the 15th of the month, the end of the month. One of the things that I love about whenever it tells me to reach out to them on the 15th of the month, and I'm just going to throw out the 15th because I just went through these um, for your front line, is that I love that it tells me how much PRV they have. One thing I think all of us love is a little shout out, a little bit of recognition. And that's one of my favorite things to call out and chat with them about, right? It's an opportunity to build a connection with your team member. And especially if it's not somebody who generally like needs anything from you. Um, some people don't come to you for anything or they're very self-sufficient with their business. I found I just love to give people a shout out. You don't have to mail them anything. Um, if mailing isn't your thing, some people hate going to the post office and I get that. I hate it too, but I'm, I do it, but still you can give any kind of shout out and it's free and people will love it, right? It's just, it's just a simple bit of acknowledgement and it allows us to check in and be consistent with our team members too, because how many times, which 
I'll say this. I personally believe that we as consultants, it is our responsibility to work our business. It's not our sponsors. It's not our uplines. It is strictly ours. But sometimes it is nice to get a reach out from maybe your sponsor and just say, hey, how are you doing? Every once in a while, right? It doesn't have to be every month. What I find, what I do with mine, um, being that I have a lot of frontline people, is I don't do the same frontline every single month in the beginning of the month for a follow-up. I might do every other month for them. Or if it's people that I talk to regularly, I won't ask them that question. Hey, what do you need for me? Because I've been chatting with them. That sounds dumb, right? Like if I just spoke with them two days ago and then I'm like, hey, happy March. You know, let me know if you need anything. Like, you know, I don't need to send them out this generalized text. I know what they need. And um, it's really, again, just making sure that you are um, reaching out to them, asking them how you can help them, recognizing them when it's their birthday. It'll tell you that. They're... And I'll tell you that I've asked for lots of different things. And I hope from what I understand that there will be lots more things coming with the leadership aspects. Like, wouldn't it be wonderful if we knew when somebody had gone active for the month? or if they had reached their 500 or were close to a promotion or, you know, there's so many different things and so many avenues that I think Amy could really hone in on for us as consultants to help with. Um, but in the meantime, them at least showing us the PRV of what people do is a great conversation starter that I love to use when reaching out to my people during the month and at the end of the month too, right? One thing that I look at as I'm going through is if it's a consultant of mine, and now that we have the will cancel list back out there, if I see that it's somebody who will cancel and it's been a while, I'll follow back up with them. Um, but I also do use a, I know follow up is, this is in regards to follow up a little bit different from Amy, but I do have a binder where I keep up with my frontline and exactly what PRV they do every single month. And it's written down in a binder so that I can look at it in a glance. It takes a minute to go through it, but it helps me be able to recognize who my people have had a change. If there's something going on in their life and maybe they're normally a $2,000 person and now they barely have 500, like what's going on? Is there something happening? Maybe they're used to getting 200 and they haven't done anything in a month or two. I get maybe one month, but two months, I might be like, hey, just checking in. How's everything going with you? Doesn't even have to be since related. It helps me as a leader be able to see what is kind of working with them. And it's in the month and track their PRV to be able to see any kind of consistencies or things that are flexing within their business to help you know how to better reach out to them. Those are some of the ways that I love to use Amy. Yes. And then also one more question that I wanted to ask you, because I'm sure I'm seeing some suggestions here that would be great to go up to the Amy uh, community. Um, how do you uh, connect with Amy? Or how can everyone that's not been a part of Amy yet, how can they connect with the Amy community to get a little bit more support or, you know, to offer ideas yes. and suggestions and get training? Yes. There is a Facebook group. Um, if you haven't joined that, make sure that you join that Facebook group because they do trainings in there all the time. They will do um, different little lives. They'll even have other um, Sensi consultants go in there. It's an actual, um, there is an actual Sensi Amy Facebook group. And so I've, I've spoken in there once before as well. And they are wonderful. If you ever have questions with Amy, or if there's something going on and you think your workstation isn't syncing right, that's been an issue that I've run into before. There's the knocking on my door I told you guys about. <laughs> I told you it was going to happen. It was just a matter of time. I got a solid 29 minutes. Yeah. Well, um, we certainly, you know, do appreciate you. I know that I didn't, we didn't want to take up your whole evening. Uh, that's the beauty yeah. of our dream night that, you know, we can have uh, some flexibility with our time here. But you have given us a wealth of information and um, I've taken notes over here. I really am so excited to get the rat card template. As a matter of fact, I think Debbie Pitts Palmer, um, she had a director on her team, Courtney, I believe that was looking for a rat card template. So, you know, ask and you shall receive. Um, someone was asking about the QR codes. I think that that's phenomenal too. Um, to be able to add um, that in with the snail mail or the happy mail with our uh, customers. And anyone can Google QR codes. 
um, and you know, and and find out what will be um, accommodating to your particular phone. Um, and I love that we can mail out a showcase brochure with a rat card, and we kind of know who to mail these things to, thanks to our assistant, Amy. So basically, Amy is just our Sensi assistant, and who doesn't need an assistant? <laughs> Um, yes. So it's definitely worth the cost. There is a cost uh, for the pro version. Do you remember what that cost is monthly? I believe it's $7.99 a month, or you can do like I did, you can pay 70, I think it's $77 for a year. And so that's what I, that's what I did personally to get a little bit of a discount. And also be on the lookout because sometimes they offer um, different promotions. And I think right now um, there's a promotion where two team members who've never had uh, Amy before can join for $20 for two months. So that way they can experience this. And once you experience it, you can tell whether or not it's, it's helpful for you, if it's helping you generate more PRV um, and keeping you organized. So um, it's you know definitely been a huge investment for Sensi. Um, you know, because basically a lot of what they formulated is for our platform, for our workstation, for our environment. Um, the last thing I wanted to say on that note, too, is that the Facebook group is just Sensi. So it's not like the Amy community with all these other companies. It's just a Sensi group with the Amy community. And I love that. So anyway, a lot of information here. I, we're going to go back through the chats. I know that we're kind of looking through those and answering questions, but Mandy, thank you so much for your time. Um, thank you for giving more than you take <laughs> and blessing us this evening. We really appreciate you. Absolutely. Looking if there's any other questions that you guys come up with, send them to me. I'll be happy to like answer them and send them back to you so you can post this wherever, send it out. Um, and then I will send you that template. No, oh, thank you. Tell your family, right. thank you for letting us borrow you. <laughs> I, look, I thank you for asking, you know, me to come here so I could like hide away for a minute. I totally didn't mind. <laughs> Anytime. All right, thank you. <laughs> All right, bye friends. All right, bye Mandy. Okay, so that's everything about Amy. I really love the questions that came through here. And now we, of course, have our awesome panel. And I want to toss this over um, to one of our panelists to talk about your follow-up system, because there's more. There's Amy. And if there's something that wasn't discussed tonight um, relative to how you utilize Amy, then by all means, share with us. But if you have another um, mode of follow-up or a system please share it with us. And whoever wants to go first, feel free to unmute yourself and, and introduce yourself again. <laughs> I All love right, Amy. So, uh, this is Debbie. Hi, Debbie. I'm in the car, so it's black. <laughs> it's all um, right. <laughs> so uh, with Amy for I would say I'm, I've been a consultant for 11 years. Hi, guys. How are you guys doing? I've been a consultant for 11 years, and I did not do follow-up until Amy. I don't know how I got my PRV like I did. I don't know how I earned trips. I don't know how I got annual sales and all, okay? I didn't. I had a horrible follow-up. I just didn't. So I lost a lot of customers because I didn't have a follow-up system. I was really just too busy. Well, when Amy came along, it was everything because I have been able to now reconnect with those people who I've not reached out to in a very long time because with Amy, what I did find out that was interesting about Amy because I worked a lot of events. So I had to really pull people over to Amy. They weren't populating. So I went to my computer. I was doing it from my phone initially, but it was real hard for me to see it. So I pulled up my computer and I manually put those names into Amy. Each and every one of them. I pulled my old little tickets that I had and manually put them into Amy. So now I'm able to be in touch with those people that I were that I was not following up with in the past from my events. So I'm still going through them because I got a ton of people that I lost contact with. So Amy is gold. And then when they pulled the team members over, my front line, oh my gosh, Mandy hit it right there. I mean, my front line, I am now in touch with my front line before I was really not connected with them like I needed to, but now I, I am. And it's huge because at the middle of the month, it does tell me their PRV and I cheer them on each time. So that is golden. It's golden guys. 
Thank you, Debbie. You know, and I'm glad that you said that you've been with Sensi for 11 years. And, you know, as you're with Sensi, your team and your organization begins to grow. And your frontline, you know, they want to make sure that they're not forgotten, whether they're a hobbyist, whether they're here for the community, whether they're here for the, you know, the full blown success. They want to know that we, that they're not forgotten. Okay. Even though we're independent, you know, a shout out, like Mandy said, here and there or a follow up, or sometimes when you see activity and then all of a sudden there's a dip, you know, um, Amy can remind you to follow up and see, you know, if they need any support or um, or anything. So um, that's really good feedback. Thank you for sharing that, Debbie. I remember Debbie was doing an event one time and she actually set up um, a station. So she had all of her products, you know, um, out and she actually had a station, I think with either an iPad or a laptop or something. And every customer that came through the booth, they went into Amy right then and there. And I was like, how neat is that? Of course, that was pre-COVID, but we're going to get back. We're going to get back to some sense of normalcy, y'all. Thank you for sharing that, Debbie. And speaking of be being around for a while, Carol, um, you've been around since the beginning. Um, and with that, I mean, you have years worth of customers and follows. How do you follow up? Whether you use Amy or you don't, what is your system to keep in touch with, I don't know, 14, 15 years of um, customers? Um, yes. So I was actually, if you let me share my screen, um, yes. I can, I was working on getting that so I could show you guys a plain one that didn't have like all my customer information on there, but, um, let's see. Okay, great. I can share. Yeah, I can share now. Perfect. Thank you so much. So, um, I use Amy occasionally. I suck at it really honest. If I'm being perfectly honest, it's not my thing. So, uh, <laughs> I like, let's just, you know, it's, it's not everybody's cup of tea. So I think you can see my screen currently right now. So I use an Excel spreadsheet exclusively. This is how I follow up with customers. This is how I do all my mailers every single month. So I'm a passive aggressive consultant. Um, I love to send mailers at the beginning of the month to contact all of my customers. Uh, that's what I like to call it. I don't, I don't, I text a few people. Uh, I do a lot of stuff on my stories on Facebook and Instagram. Um, and then I do message people when there's things that come out. But for the most part, I send every single month a mailer. And so all my customers are on my customer list. And what and I keep track of their first, last name, address, city, state, zip, right? You can see here, phone, email, birth month. If I sent a thank you gift, notes, how did I find them? Did they, were they from a show? Were they from Google? Um, when their last date of purchase was and the amount. And so with an Excel sheet, you can see that you can just make it go on infinitely here. So you can continue to add dates. So what I do is insert shift cells to the right, and then I'll put the next date. So let's just say somebody ordered again on the 21st of January, and it was for $60. So now I can put now I can see they ordered on the 6th, they were on the 15th. So you can really tell who your best customers are, at, you know, like by the end of the year, you can absolutely see that. Um, and then with this, with this Excel sheet, eventually you'll have, you know, hundreds of customers on here. And as you can see, I have previous orders. I have people that ordered in 2019. I have people ordered that 2020. Um, I have people that order in 2021. Uh, so let's see if I do, um, let's see, how can I do this? Let me try this. Um, okay. So just one second mm -hmm. and I'll go to 2020 so I can show you guys. Um, I'm just going to hide those. Okay, um, so I'm going to show you here how you can see all my customers from last year. So um, these are these are my customers here. Notes is how did I find them? Jim, Google, referral, um, anything I need to know basically on these people. Thank you gifts that were sent, birth month, if they decide to give that to me. Uh, data purchase. So you can see here if I show you my 
all of this stuff. I can literally see here, who's my best customer? This person right here, look at how many times they've ordered from me since back in 2013. So when you end up with years and years of people, Excel sheets can go on infinitely. And I think that's what I love about Excel. Is this time consuming? Yes, I update it once a week. It's not a big deal. Um, it's just something that I do. And then what I do is I add together all the sales from the current year. So then at the end of the year, I can literally sort people by 2020 sales largest to smallest. And then I can see who my best customers were in 2020. So Sarah is my best friend. And of course she orders a lot, but she holds <laughs> parties for me all the time. Tommy does parties as well. Some of these people, cause I put the full party total of what they spent with me. Um, we've got people that have spent eight. I mean, if you think about it, $500 a month divided by 12 is what? Let's see, 500 divided by 12 is approximately $40 a month. I'll take a $40 a month customer, you know, um, any day. And so versus somebody who is just a one-time purchase, like you can see some of these people, um, this person was one time and it was a referral. Um, it's a new customer, so that's fine. But there are other people that are one time, one time purchases uh, for, I think I have like an $8 one here somewhere if I went scrolled all the way down to the bottom, right? Yeah, $6 one time, $13 one time. Not exactly my best customer, but not someone that I want to go away from. $18, $18. And, you know, granted in 2020, I didn't do any shows. So um, sometimes they're what we call um, wax floozies and they just shop anywhere with anyone, any, any time that there's wax available, they'll buy. And so each month you can do your monthly mailers. I'm sorry, my dog is barking um, from these things. So uh, as you can see, this is super valuable. So you can export from the workstation, all of your customers and clean it up. You can, um, if you've never kept track of your customers before, I suggest you start now. It's a brand new year. Start now in January, right? Um, and so, um, sorry, so now I'll, I'll tell you. Uh, so, you know, start in January um, or go back the last three months and take care of, uh, you know, enter in all the orders from the last three months and put those into an Excel spreadsheet. And if you have to, yes, you have to go one by one in the order history, but the spreadsheet for me is the best thing. And then you can do what we call a mail merge. If you've never done that before, it takes literally five minutes for me to create labels for all of my mailers once a month. So there's a whole Google how to mail merge. You need an Excel spreadsheet and then you go to Word and use the mail merge. So please Google mail merge. It will save your life. It will change your life. Um, it will give you this huge aha moment because you can literally work uh, smarter and not harder. And people love to get things in the mail. So people say, well, what do you send? I send the scent of the month flyer with either a piece of wax attached to it or a felt sample, or I don't even attach it sometimes, a uh, product sheet and in, in an envelope. And I actually have a Google training or I mean a YouTube training. If you go to YouTube and search my name, um, I did the SFR presentation on how to do customer mailers. And so this is, a, you know, and by sending a scent out every single month, the new scent of the month, I get orders all the time. And so by sending mailers, things that smell, um, I increased my sales in one year over $30,000 in PRV, even without doing, even without shows. So just know that is, there is, um, there's so many other ways to do it, like let's say you're not a texter or some of my customers are not texters. They don't like me texting them. Um, and so I had to find something different to use than Amy because of my customer base. Now, if you have a lot of younger customers, they love texting, right? They want you to text them. And so I do have all of my customers listed in my phone with their name and their last name and then C-U-S-T at the end of their last name. So if, um, so then I can text people that um, with the, I can just pull up customer and just send text that way. Um, all 
also you can do that through Amy. But uh, I was just saying, if you have some people, I have, I have them marked with like an asterisk and customer. So then I know they can, um, they love to be texting. I did use hit them up. It stopped working for a while. So then I started paying for project broadcast. And so then I can, I had all my customers opt in to bro project broadcast and now I can send texts through project broadcast. So there are different, you know, alternatives. I'm not saying spend any money, do stuff for free for right now. And if that's old fashioned copy and pasting and texting, so be it, right? I mean, we want you guys to make money. We don't want you to spend money. Um, and it's, it's when you get to the point where you know, you have uh, 20 bucks a month to spend, you can spend on Amy or you can spend on project broadcasts or whatever, you know, like I said, it doesn't, luckily you can, it's some of these are, Amy is by far the cheapest at $7 a month or $7.99 and it integrates with our workstation. So if you're, if you're doing things the good way, as far as entering in every customer into the workstation with their orders, it's going to super keep track of you. If you suck at that, like some of us do, because we didn't start that way back in the old days, we just put in orders like all underneath us, uh, then it's tough because you have to go back and relearn different ways. <laughs> And so, um, because we didn't have cool things and technology has evolved so much over the last little bit. I mean, we, it's, it's gone leaps and bounds. I started Sensi pre-Facebook y'all like imagine that pre -face. It's like talking about olden times <laughs> at this point. I didn't have Facebook. Uh, we, we didn't have texting, like literally no one texted when I first started Sensi. <laughs> terrible so um mandy gutierrez it's uh it's mail merge m-a-i-l merge m-e-r-g-e oh thank you kaylee and uh or uh vicky vicky blanco for telling it um yeah 30 days to get a warmer kaylee it was a long time we took a very long time to get stuff <laughs> So this pandemic is just reminding me of the old days. It's totally fine. <laughs> um, but yes, spreadsheets um, are, are, are my love language. I think now I've really come to love them. And again, I didn't start out that way, but I just found that that's my, my necessity in my business. But please let someone else share because I mean, I'm sure they have other amazing things. <laughs> I'm sorry. Well, I didn't mean to take up because I think so I'm looking around time. and like all of our jaws are dropped, you know, because I'm looking at that spreadsheet and I was like, oh my gosh, like that's really good information. And basically what we learned, you know, in, in the past uh, 45 minutes is that there's not one way, you know, there's Amy, which is great, you know, for those that like uh, texting and, and, you know, and to have the electronic aspect. And then there's spreadsheets that does the job just as well. Um, and it's, it's functional. The key is you have to follow up. You know, it sounds like a cliche, but the fortune is in the follow up. Sometimes you can meet someone and they like you, you like them, they love Sensi. But if you don't follow up with them, then they're going to go to the next um, event and get their Sensi from someone else or, or on Sensi.com. So the fortune is in the follow up. So thank you for sharing. And when you talked about old school, I want to tell y'all that. I don't use Amy. I um, have the Amy app, but I'm intimidated by it. And so remember what we said in the beginning of the month that um, if it doesn't scare you, then you're not, dream you're not dreaming big enough. So Amy scares me a little bit because um, I think my first uh, earned it with the grow with the flow uh, challenge, I think it was, or slingshot, one of them. Um, she kept messaging me and she's like, oh, you've got, you know, 30 reminders and I'm talking back to Amy and I just got intimidated by it. Um, but that's not a bad thing. It just means that it wasn't my comfort zone and I'm willing to embrace it. So I'm hoping that others that might be intrigued might be willing to embrace it as well. Cause like I said, it's always evolving, but let me tell y'all what I'm doing. This is so oh. old school, it's like 1920. <laughs> is this, I got this little tiny binder, you guys. And I just asked myself like, Teresa, why do you do this to yourself? But let me just show it to you for whatever it's worth. The good thing is I'm following up. 
I've got all of my blank order forms here. Sometimes I'll get a text or a message on Facebook. And when I get home later on, I'll, you know, at the end of the night, I'll put it on the order form. And then I have like these little folders, uh, colorful folders, which takes me on the journey of the order. I have the order. I'm waiting for payment. Um, it's processing. It's shipped, needs to be delivered, you know, so on and so forth. But I'm actually doing this Rise to Success program right now with um, a few of my team members. And we one of the tasks was to write down our um, list of 100. And I like to do that with my team. So I started writing down my list of 100. Y'all, not a spreadsheet. <laughs> I mean, it, it does take time. It really, as I'm showing you, this doesn't make sense, but it works. So let me tell you this, because it might make sense for someone else. This is not what I'm gonna be doing long-term, which is again, why we had uh, this topic this evening, um, because everything I'm doing manually, a spreadsheet could be doing for me and saving me a lot more time. But I haven't even gotten through uh, contacting all 100 of my customers on this list. And some of them, like Kelly was asking, was from three years ago. Some, I wanna tell you that I've made it through approximately 60 of the list of 100. Um, and out of the 60, I have 27 responses that's going to either already has accumulated PRB, meaning they've ordered online, $125 came in last night. Sometimes they'll ignore you, but still order online. I don't understand that. But um, And then I had others, like one lady, uh, she hasn't ordered for me since the summer. She ordered $108 worth of scent bars. So my goal, I put in a $500 order. And as I'm going through this list, I want to put in another $500 order. Um, and hopefully squeeze in another 500. Um, and I'm, you know, some people say, well, what do you send out? You know, when you're texting them, it really needs to be your personality. But basically what I say to mine, I keep it short and simple. And I have a little graphic that I either text or message on social media, um, letting them know that the bars are $4 and 50 cents. If that doesn't grab your attention, I don't know what does. $4.50, but of course it's in that bundle, but it allows you to have, you know, that conversation, which is also in the, in the graphic. So even the folks from three years ago, that's a reason to contact them because you're providing great customer service. You're letting them know, I don't want you to miss out on this deal. Some people are still messaging me today from Sunday. Like I had a lady four hours away and she's like, oh my gosh, I do, you know, uh, want some bars. It's also, anyway, um, I also booked two parties. So one of them I dropped off at a bank today. And um, I also booked a virtual party as well. And some people just responded back, you know, out of the 27, there were more that responded back saying, no, I'm good. I don't need anything, but I might, you know, um, message you later. So I wanted to kind of give you those numbers to let you know that had I not followed up with these people, whether it's a spreadsheet, whether it's Amy, whether it's a 1922 system, um, I may not have that PRV because they want their bars. They're going to get their scent bars. They have warmers. It's just, are they going to get it from me? So I'm going to shut up now and I'm going to toss the baton to Kelly Rashad. Kelly, how do you follow up with your customers? Kelly, are you I'm there? Here. So I'm here. I'm actually following up right now. Um, I have two ways I follow up. So I have the Amy, which I use. Um, and it's funny because then I have my binder, like you know, like the old school people. So here's the best of both worlds, guys. Amy, I love her team follow-up. I messaged my team mates, usually first 15th or somewhere like in there. Sometimes I will message them. It could be happy Thanksgiving. Hope your family's doing great. It doesn't have to be business related. Um, might be a Christmas thing, might be a new year thing. Hey, I'm starting this new training program. Um, maybe you want to join it. So that is an easy way for me to follow up with my frontline because my frontline is extremely large. There's no other way that I can track it. So I rely on Amy solely for that. Then uh, for the follow up with the customers, I don't do my thank yous or anything on there. Like everybody just said, I just go ahead and delete it as done because I use a paperwork follow up system for that. And for my system, um, I can upload the photo or the um generic little piece of paper thing that I use for everything. But on my customer follow-up sheet, I do a three month sampling after their purchase. Um, all my customers know this, it's on all my literature, it's on my thank yous, it's on my rack cards, I got all those things. So on my rack card, I do that as well with a set circle in the mail. Here's one that actually got returned so you guys can see how easy that is. And like she said, it costs a stamp. We'll just open it because I gotta redo it anyway. And in mine, I have my rack card. And in my record, it says, you know, why I got into this. Thank you so much for your order. 
Um, a brief little story of me on my back. I got a kind of a cute little picture of me and my husband in the background, but all of my accomplishments, because why would you not want to join my team when you see that? Why join my team right here? What's involved? That's all the cost stuff. And what's in it for you? Because that's what everybody really wants to know. What, how are they going to benefit? They get a set circle. And I'm really glad this one got returned because it's my favorite of all time, Winterberry Apple Tea. And this is where I put a handwritten message because I think that's important, especially for the old school people, I would say 60 plus, they love handwritten notes. I don't want to do a million handwritten notes anymore. So I write on my scent circle. For these, I usually do for $40 and up on their orders. So I'm not just sending, like Carol said earlier, the $18 orders, they're not getting a scent circle. They can get one of these and maybe a little felt sample. Um, and then usually, because this month when I must have sent it, I ran out of product flyer sheets, but that's how I get rid of my product flyer sheets, you guys. When I, I'm another one, I never followed up for five years of my business. Where the hell did five years of customers go? I didn't do it um, until I went to a retreat a few years ago and they talked about this. And I want to say it was four years ago. My business completely changed, game changer for the follow-up system. Then I did the three months of samples. I made up this little sheet on Microsoft Word. And I can tell you that it brings me at least $500 in sales per month without me having to lift up the phone, without me having to log into Amy, any of that, because people like these scents. So here, I'm making some right now. I have a whole bag of them. I, try, I, make, I make them pretty thin. I put these in there. You guys can see it. These are the sample, the little sample in the regular Scentsy mold, but I only fill the bottom layer of it so that it doesn't take up a lot of wax because of the mail, the post office will return them to you. But mm -hmm. those people get to smell that. And then that's where your orders come in for six bars of that scent, or they need something else and they need that bar or whatever else. It doesn't really matter, but they're getting something every month. And like Carol said earlier, then you don't have to call them. They're hearing from you three times in the next quarter that you got them covered for the whole quarter. And then hopefully your catalog's coming out. So if they don't order in that quarter, you can be like, yo, you need a new catalog. Um, do you need something? That's when you follow up for me. I'm touching base with them people after their samples have run out. So that saves me a little bit of time. That's excellent. And I love, love, love the handwritten um, scent circle note that you give to some of your customers too. So thank you for sharing that. And I also, I don't want to miss um, Emily Goodneck. Um, if there's, I know that we talked, we've covered a lot of bases here, but if there's anything that you wanted to add that maybe we forgot um, that might be helpful, please do. Hey guys, um, I don't have a whole lot to add, um, but I will say, maybe I'll, I'll give you guys two quotes and you can write this down in your notes. So there's two uh, quotes that I love about systems. It's a system that works is the one that is used. And as evident by tonight, you can see not everyone uses the same system. And Amy is great, Excel is great, the binder old school dinosaur method is great, but it's only great if you use it. If you do not use it then it is a complete waste of your time to, to even you know so i am sort of a, of a hybrid um system between the two like i use excel for my vip mailers i i just feel like mentally that works for me i'm a, i'm sort of like teresa in the way that um a amy does give me a little bit of anxiety because when i see that i have 120 notifications i'm just like I'm not doing this. I couldn't be bothered because then I'm like, click, 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 just to get rid of the notifications. Um, but I will say where the team is concerned, um, it is it is definitely wonderful for that. I'm just not very consistent with it. I actually switched to um, punch bowl for, for recognition. It's just, I can send a digital card. And that was born out of not because um, I needed a, a better system in terms of mailing. It was, for me, it was cost. Uh, as I talked last week, the, to mail anything in Canada is extremely expensive, even if it's flat. So when I knew that I, I wanted to keep system for my customers so they were getting something tangible in their hands I thought how can I make this cheaper and easier on myself with my team so I switched to the digital cards um, that I sent through punchable I actually pay my sister to work for me part-time she comes over and she just goes into my workstation and does it all um, signs it for me obviously but when they get it it's really cool because in punchable you have the option to reply to the card and you know I used to spend a lot of money sending this mail and you would actually be surprised with the number of my team members 
photographers who would never say, hey, I got your card today, thanks, or wouldn't post about it. So I had no idea what kind of impact it was making on them or their business if they liked it. So just know that if your upline, uh, your sponsor is, is taking the time to send you something heartfelt, they want to know that you appreciate it. Otherwise, they're going to stop doing it. And that's what I did. I thought I have to do something that that's better for my business that takes less time and will be appreciated. So when I went to the digital cards, it was really cool because it takes two seconds, the reply button's right there and they'd say, hey, Anne, thanks for the recognition, means a lot. And I could see them, they'd, they'd do like a screen share and they'd show the video opening in their stories. It's just super cool. But aside from that, the second quote, if you didn't like the first one I gave you, the other one is, um, a system only works if you work the system. So again, it just set kind of along the same lines, but work a system that's gonna work for you. Sensi put Amy into place to create simplicity. You know, our three core values are gen generosity, authenticity, and simplicity. They're not in that order, but simplicity is key here. That's why we have the WIF box program. It's why we have the Sensi Club program. And this, this partnership with Amy is no different. It's important that um, we keep our businesses simple so they're duplicatable for people we'll eventually bring into our teams, but also uh, to keep our mind clear because when you're out there and you're trying to sling wax and recruit new team members, important that these systems are simple, easy to use, and duplicatable for your Thank you, Emily. And I absolutely love that quote. A system that works is the one that is used. So there's so many different systems. You have to choose the one that's going to be practical for your personality and also for your time um, that's also effective. So thank you for that, Amy. And Amber, I know that you're in the chats. Is there anything else that you wanted to conclude us with tonight? Hello, I am here. Can y'all hear me? Hi, Amber. Yep. I'm a bit of a hot mess tonight, but woo, yeah, here I am. <laughs> How's everyone doing? Great. Good. Um, yeah, I definitely have a different system and I'm actually walking in my office right now. Forgive me. I've been packing lunches and doing all the kid things. Um, I'm very paper pen and I'm very old school. So what I do is I actually use my invoices to do my follow-up. So this is for my local orders, my people who their product actually comes through my house, like I'm labeling and I'm bagging it, I'm delivering it, all of that stuff. I'm a very visual person. So I will not let myself file these invoices away until I follow up with them. So once these are off of my desk and in my basket, I know my follow-up's done. And it's just a quick message. Hey girl, how are you liking your goodies? Super simple. Um, for my online people, I have an email that I copy and paste to them um, that says, you know, thank you for finding me and ordering me. This is my, my full-time job. It really blesses my family. We're always here to help you in any way we can. Give them a link to my VIP group, all of that. And then on the daily, I check my order history for those PWS orders, but also for Cincy Club orders. Cincy Club is huge for me. Um, I check to see if anyone has run and then I click, you can click on expand all under the order history tab on that order. And you can see what they're getting and make sure that they're maximizing, you know, the 10% off perk and the half press item. And if they're really close, like I have one lady who was like $2.80 away the other day from getting 10% off her entire club, I let her know. And so I guess those three things really are my follow-up system, but yeah, um, very visual, very paper pen. <laughs> uh, I love that. I mean, you're a former teacher, so we wouldn't expect anything less. <laughs> But thank you for yeah, sharing that and also the, the club aspect too. Um, I'm glad that we were able to uh, end on that note. Um, I don't know that Dorothy is with us this evening and it's okay if you're on Dorothy. No, Dorothy's here. I think oh. she can. I think she, we have yeah. a few minutes. She can share. Do okay, you have something to Dorothy. share, Dorothy? Sorry. Sorry, I didn't see your message on. I wasn't looking at my phone. I'm, I'm oh, all, fine. everyone else is sharing. And um, I just, I use Amy consistently. Um, I love it. And so I just want, since we are almost out of time, I just want to share something. Um, you know, I, in 2019 and, you know, however many, however many years, I always did events. And in December of 2019, I met this one customer and she told me, she said, you know, I have a Scentsy person, but she bought for me at the event. And 
she said, but please, she said, follow up with me because my Scentsy person never does. And I said, okay, I sure will. And so she had bought quite a bit. It was the first weekend in December of 2019. But January, you know, I let her know what the, I just like, hey, you know, it was great meeting you. You know, here's the link to my VIP group, et cetera, et cetera. And I said, you know, but this is what is coming out for, you know, in January or whatever it was. And she ordered. And since then, she orders probably an average of $175 from me every single month. Wow. because I followed up with her wow. so um don't feel like you are bothering someone is what I always like to say like you never know you follow up until they tell you not to you know what that's a really good point because I think in the chat um I think it was Dennis and a few others that were like well I'm always afraid that I'm bothering them yeah. and it all depends on your mindset and sometimes we have to shift that mindset from a fixed mindset to a growth mindset our mind is going to tell us the fear aspect is going to tell us we are bothering them we're getting on their nerves they're going to mm -hmm. unfriend us that's what the fixed mindset tells us the growth mindset says the exact opposite that you know, that they want to feel special, that they want to have the follow up, that they want to feel appreciated. Um, my husband, I, I love y'all. If you're following me on Instagram, I love my fireplace. And we ran out of wood because we've been using it so much. And so I was like, we really need some wood. And so my husband went everywhere and no one had the oak wood that we were looking for. And so he went to this one place and they're like, sir, we're all out but let me get your information so we can follow up with you in the future. Well, they followed up today and I about lost my mind or was it yesterday? I about lost my mind because I was like, who is he on the phone with? And it was the wood people <laughs> and they weren't bothering us. You know, um, we could have already found wood or whatever. The point that I'm trying to make is that I was like, it's 2021 and I cannot believe that this store or whatever it was business contacted us, you know? And so of course we're going to go back to them. They made us feel very special where the other people didn't. So <laughs> anyway. I would like to add that I have invited her to join. She is not interested. She does not want to, but she wants to buy Cincy every single month. And so I'm okay with that. <laughs> yes. And, and here's right. the thing. Sometimes look, you know, later on down the road too. But I noticed that on Carol's spreadsheet where she had her BFF. And the thing is, there's some people that are just stubborn. And, and we have to accept that where it's like, okay, I don't want to, but I really do want to support your business. I have my own business or what have you. Um, but sometimes there will be different, you know, you can kind of watch and kind of gauge. And um, even if it's a year later and go back and say, do you just want to join for the discount? But those spreadsheets and Amy and all the other things um, yep. will kind of give you that gauge uh, to let you know when to ask and if you should ask. So thank you all so much. And thank you, Dorothy. That was a really good tip. Um, you know, that uh, that follow up system, it could convert customers over, you know, to you, even if they do have another consultant, that's not our goal. That's not our aim. But if the other consultants not taking care of them, or they're on the will cancel list, someone needs to take care of them. Now we don't steal customers. But if we find them at an event, and they give us permission, and they want to, um, you know, move over, then that's kind of what happens. It's the circle of life. <laughs> so anyway, well, and, and I yeah. have a, I have a thing that I always say, it's not it's not your customer's job to follow up with you. It's your job to follow up with your customer. And so if you're not going to follow up with them, someone else will. Yeah. And that's, and so they want, people want to be served. And so how, but always when you contact people, one key, I don't care if it's Amy, I don't care if it's by the mail, you have to tell them what's in it for them. You have, because everyone tunes in to WIFM, you know, what's in it for me. And so if, if, they, if you're not mailing out things and telling people what the best deal is, they're, they're not going to follow up with you because then they're just like, oh, well, this isn't, this isn't about me. It's about them. It's like about them earning a trip or about them making their sales every month. Do not make it about you. Make it about them. I love you. This is what the sale is. Um, even if you take a post-it note and you can handwrite that or you can print them out you know, on your computer. But if you say, hey, I think this, this scent has X, Y, and Z notes. I think it's perfect for you. Even putting that little note inside your mailers, people will be like, oh, I love this. Like I sold more ghostly greetings because I told people it had sandalwood. It had um, 
you know, the patchouli bass, like the really deep notes. And I sold more of that scent. I couldn't even keep it in stock because I actually gave them a personalized recommendation. And so that's the thing, you know, always think about when you're doing follow-up, how can I personalize this for each person? And, and, but you can make it also generic. Like I saw this and thought of you. You don't mm -hmm. actually have to say hi, but you should use their name, obviously, if you can. Yeah. <laughs> but I mean, you can always do like, I saw this and I thought of you. And, and they're going to be like, oh my gosh, she's speaking to me, right? And, and putting my best interests forward. Um, so anyway, if, if that's anything I can give you guys. <laughs> No, that's really, really minute. great. Um, and you know what? I feel like we need to have a follow on to tonight because there's so much information that we can provide regarding follow ups, follow ups with our customers, with our teams, you know, um, the whole nine. So we'll definitely have to have it to be continued on this topic. Um, as we end, I do want to thank all of our panelists for uh, joining us tonight. And I know Mandy's no longer on, but wish, if she was amazing, definitely reach out to her. Um, you know, you can find her on Facebook and say thank you. But before we close, I would be remiss if I did not mention World Tour. Tomorrow is the last day to register for World Tour. Y'all, if you're enjoying Tuesday nights, you're going to enjoy World Tour. Do not be the last to find out. Let your customers find out from you first about the sneak peeks. Um, there'll be trainings, there'll be fun, you know, um, a lot of fun. Heidi and Orville will be there, Dan will be there. Um, and if you missed out on the kit, it's not a big deal, but $11, if you're working, you can catch the replay. Go to your workstation, uh, click on events, put in $11. It's a tax write-off, but invest in yourself, okay? So I hope that you all have a very blessed evening and we will be back next Tuesday. Please bring a guest, a team member guest that is, um, so that way they can enjoy all this wealth of information. So thank you all and have a very blessed night. Good night, everybody. Bye. Thanks for tuning in. Bye. Good night.